October 2nd, Dallas, Texas. It's less than 24 hours until the Texas Farm Bureau Insurance Shootout at AT&T Stadium. For referee Reggie Smith and his crew, the importance of teamwork starts long before kickoff. What I like to do as a crew chief is create an atmosphere where we can genuinely like one another off the field. You know, we've got guys from Philadelphia, Dallas, San Antonio, Kansas City, Topeka, Tulsa, that we can like each other off the field. Now we're gonna be more comfortable when we work with each other on the field. Being a part of a successful team heightens the importance of being prepared, especially for their first conference matchup of the season. All right guys, uh, first portion of the uh, pregame two-day effort. Um, you know, briefly, we're going to be here tonight before we reconvene at 8 a.m. tomorrow. All right, I'll, I'll lead off. Number one, A, first and 10 at the B-17. Number two, fouls offset, retry B-3. If we have the same scenario tomorrow, we'll get on the 0 system and uh, I'll say, hey, Mark, yeah. what's he want, fourth and three or third and 27? Again, when I come to the headset, I'm going to say, Jack, the ruling on the field is, or was, let's be prepared to offer, you know, help and assistance to our partners, speak up when we need to speak, and be quiet when we need to be quiet. Speak to what you see on the field, not to what you think. If we have any of these tricky situations tomorrow, we're going to be all over it, right? It's a whole lot easier in here than it is out there. It's no doubt about it. All right, guys, uh, week five underway um, and beginning a conference play for us. So uh, we know that the stakes are a little higher. Uh, we've had a great, great, great start to our season. I mean, four weeks in and, you know, more things that I'll talk about down the stretch. But let's just jump right in. Officiating is about doing the basic things right. And if you do the basic things right, you're gonna have a good season, a good game, a good career. Saturday's matchup presents two of the nation's most explosive offenses. Being able to do all the little things right starts with being focused. Who's on this block? Right there, I would be on that, the field judge side. Right now, but when are you gonna transition? Think, yeah, you can't really leave that block to come to this one over here yeah, it, because those guys are locked up. From a year ago, <laughs> we learned hopefully, you know, hey, focus 212 plays we've got to be prepared to focus for 200 plus plays today so that's our challenge you know the state of our crew i think is very very strong you know i've, I've been ranting and raving over the course of you know four weeks on how well our communication has been on how well you know we get along both off the field and how that translates to what we do on it you know, that's my goal as a crew chief, to build an atmosphere where we're comfortable with one another, where we've got the level of trust that everybody is going to DYFJ, and we know what that means. But we've got jobs to do, and we do them very well. What's up, guys? All right, I'm hanging in there, you. But on weeks where, you know, we're not being used in the Big 12, you know, we'll work in the Mountain West or Southland conferences. But I mean, overall, I think the snaps help us, you know, to get better. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't want to sit at home. Deep into the bowels. Deep into the bowels of Jerry World. Here we go. With a focused mindset and a group of guys that are fully prepared for Tech and Baylor, Regina's crew were able to pause and enjoy the bright lights of AT&T Stadium. The vice president of uh, the Cotton Bowl and a marketing director has offered to give our crew, as I told you guys at dinner, a tour of uh, Dallas uh, Cowboys Stadium, AT&T Stadium. Uh, so, you know, that'll be nice because we've got several members of the crew who are going for their first time. So, you know, it's always nice to get to work in the house that Jerry built.
It's 12.50, 100 minutes before kick and the official start of pregame for today's officiating crew. From emergency personnel information to meeting with both head coaches, the importance of being prepared continues leading up to kick. Call it out, head trainer. You know, run the meeting and that's your that's your little spot to shine there. All right. How's it going? Going well. Good. You guys are off to a very good start. So far, you know, good. Still out, but we'll, we'll see Thank how it all goes. Good. Y'all doing okay? Who'd y'all have last week? Uh, last week we had uh, the Friday night game. We had Boise State at Virginia. Okay. Uh, if it does work out where they win at Multiball, then we'll have a guy talk. But uh, got to choose what we goal do to not, Yeah, we don't want to get caught in that other day. Absolutely, won't allow that to happen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, any questions for us, Coach? No, sir. Uh, no. But, you know, we're, of course, they're tempo on we are, too. So mm -hmm. it'll be a... Good. Track me. Okay. You got a good C. Is he yeah, he's a young guy. Come yeah. on. Sturdy <laughs> legs. Sturdy <laughs> legs. <laughs> Come on. All right. Well, let's have some fun. This guy's played a great game oh, last week. It's a ball game. Yeah. Yes, sir. This one should be fun, too. We're anticipating it. I'm going extra for this one now. Yeah. Track me. <laughs> We're ready. Uh, just so you know, substitution wise, you know, we know both of you like right. to go fast. Right. If you at any point run a play into your bench area, we're going to presume that right. you're subbing. Yes, sir. Other than that, perfect. If Baylor wins the toss, they want the ball. If Tech wins and defers, they want the ball. All right. Uh, Texas Tech, the only thing uh, Coach Kingsbury mentioned was the screen pass that we saw on film where they've got number one, number two in the double double. Guy will go out, block ahead, pass will be caught at or behind the line of scrimmage. 61 minutes to kick. Time to go. Tom, oh, good to have you guys. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Uh, hey, he's got to no catch the He's got to catch a flight. Keep it to 315, okay? Well, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. This is the anti-cramp cure for the cramp cure. I don't know if you cramp up. I do. Got the first sign of cramps. They got it. Over there? Yeah, tech. Several of the back pads are not covered now. They will be covered by kickoff, right? I walk down a kickoff and pull them all down. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm going to pull them back up, but I will walk down every game and do it. So, all right. I let them go and warm up some stuff. But Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank if you. anything else, let us know. Hey, Patrick. I'm Reggie Smith. Reggie Mahomes. Yes, sir. Are you aware of what you need to do to legally ground the ball this afternoon? Yes, sir. Make sure you're out of the pocket. Get the ball back to the line, all right? Have a good game. Up a yard, buddy. Great, let's go. Move up. Here we go, gentlemen, up to the 45. It's that big stripe. It's that big one. Big what? It's that big stripe here. The 45 yard line. There you go, big man. Just helping you out. Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon to give you thanks and praise for the opportunity you've given us today to go out on this field and do this thing that we love. We ask that you give us the strength, the guidance, and the ability to use those skills that we have to do the best job that we can today on this field. We ask to keep every one of us safe, the players, the coaches, the sideline administration free from injury and harm. And Lord, as we, have, as we go back to our families this evening, we ask that you bless us once again as our travels and grant us safe passage until we can be together mm -hmm. again next week. Lord, we ask one more time to give blessings to our brother Lyndon on his birthday this week as he joins the old man's club. <laughs> we love him very much. Lord, in your name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, guys, well done. Guys, we've done all the talk and we've done all the preparation. We know what type of game we're gonna have. 200 plus plays, a challenge to focus. Six to seven seconds each. Let's be on our game. Let's be the best team on the field. All right, get a crew on three. Here we go, one, two, three, crew. crew. Welcome to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, as fifth-ranked Baylor plays its Big 12 opener against Texas Tech. They'll keep it on the ground on third down, and it's an easy first down for Linwood, and it might be a touchdown. Inside the 20, touchdown Baylor. Mahomes has time on third down. Everybody covered. Now Mahomes fires it deep, and it's caught, and it's a touchdown. Zach Austin got behind the D. More than three men moving forward in the blocking formation. That's half the distance to the goal. First down. And Baylor's usually sound. They don't make a lot of mistakes, not a lot of penalties. Another passing touchdown. Corey Coleman with the grab, and Baylor's got 41 points. What's the message to the kids at halftime? Just play our best half this half. Didn't play very well, and they have a great team. 
Uh, the turnovers hurt, obviously, and then they have a great offense. So uh, just trying to play our best half of the year. 251 through the year, 248 on the ground. Five pass plays of 20 yards or more, five run plays of 10 yards or more. Mahomes with a pump fake, got open off his feet. And Mahomes will run for the first down inside the 15. Stays in bounds and into the end zone for the touchdown. Russell completes it to Coleman. Great miss going for his third touchdown and in. That's it from AT&T Stadium here in Arlington. Our final score, Baylor 63, Texas Tech 35. So long from Arlington. 35, 63. Time of kickoff, 2.36. Yeah. End of game, 6.15. Yeah. That's 3.39 game time. Post game. For most, that means the game is over. But for today's officiating crew, the job is far from complete. Did you get a look at the blocks below? The, they thought there were blocks below the waist on the wedge? The center judge wouldn't have been down. Yeah, he did. I was down because I waited so long. I knew there was 12. All right, let's get it. Center judge. 11-09, Tech, number 75, umpire, 4-10, Tech, yeah. number 51, false start. We got a new hitter today. Mo and Nobody. I, Mo and I had a had, had a one hitter. Yeah, the the only thing he called against Baylor was picked up. <laughs> no, that was. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> After reviewing today's game, Regina's crew head their separate ways and prepare for week six of the 2015 Big 12 football season.